Welcome, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Define disruption. What does it mean for you? Disruption is essentially somebody coming into your business that is creating a business model or a way to make money or a value proposition that is in some ways 10 times better. So that's a good way to think about it. Something is 10 times more convenient, 10 times cheaper, 10 times you know faster, that is disruptive. So because it really changes the economics of your business and it changes your ability to compete. Uh, what are the challenges that it poses uh, from a leadership point of view? The biggest leadership challenge for in facing disruption is that in order to deal with disruption, you have to disrupt yourself. You have to actually, in a sense, kill your own business if you want it to survive. And that, as you can see, is not an easy challenge because when your bread and butter is coming from a business, being able to create a disruptive model that threatens your existing business is a tough challenge. So really, from a leadership standpoint, the challenge is if you, if you don't move, you die. If you move too fast, you have the danger of dying because you're cannibalizing the existing business. But in the, in the long run, I tell people uh, in leadership that it's best to keep your cannibals in the family. You know, if somebody's going to cannibalize yourself, it better be you. So that's the leadership challenge, just to be able to run the existing business and yet figure out how to destroy it. Uh, give us one specific example of where you might have seen somebody uh, dealing with such a leadership challenge. Yeah, so um, every software company that you look at today, you know, even or any technology company that you look at today, whether it's IBM, whether it's Microsoft, SAP, HP, Dell, um, all these companies are seeing a disruptive force, which is the evolution of software as a service. So what software as a service does, or what we are now calling cloud computing, uh, it really changes the paradigm of how software gets delivered and how it gets deployed and how it gets used. So, so all these companies are sort of facing this leadership challenge of transitioning their business models from a premise-based legacy software or enterprise software to the cloud-based subscription models. And they are achieving varying degrees of success. Uh, so if you see IBM, they have, have had 15 quarters of declining revenues. Uh, so they're finding it they are difficult to make this transition. Uh, other companies like Microsoft, I think, are doing a better job because their cloud business is growing. Amazon has created a very healthy cloud business. So, uh, so I think in the technology industry in particular, I see that uh, the evolution of the cloud computing model being a disruptive force for every leadership team in that industry. Uh, in that context, how important is it to have a plan for a digital enterprise? Uh, and is the plant relevant at all? So disruption is something you should plan for. How you're going to get disrupted and how you're going to deal with it, the specifics you may not know. But what is important is to create an organization that can incubate disruptive ideas to provide it with resources and, and to sort of separate it from your core business so that it has the freedom to experiment and to come up with disruptive ideas following which you need to bring it back into your mainstream business and so that you can energize your entire company with these ideas. So I think as a, as a business leader, it's important to create that innovation capacity, disruptive innovation capacity, perhaps with an organization that kept, that's kept at arm's length. Now how that plays out you know, exactly is obviously not clear. But it is important to create the enabling structures and the enabling processes that permit a disruptive question to be asked, a disruptive innovation to be incubated, and to be resourced. Uh, so that part, I think, can be planned for deliberately. What is the one big disruption that you expect in 2016? I think in 2016, we are going to see the emergence of wearables or the internet of things. and Connected everything is going to be a very disruptive force. The connected car, the connected home, connected fitness, connected health. So the emergence of connectivity as it comes into a product like an automobile or even consumer appliances, it starts to have a disruptive force. So we'll start to see the intersection of consumer products and 
IoT or the Internet of Things to create connected devices and connected services which will create some disruptive opportunities. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome.